Hey dear students, how are you all? Hope you people are doing good. So today we are starting with the next unit. So in the quantitative techniques, so the unit name is progression. So we are starting with the next unit, progression. Okay, so next unit number, progression. So here you have to understand few basic things before going to the problems so which is related to problems so that we are going to apply those uh, principles uh, while solving the problem so that you need to know uh, then we can go on directly solving the problem so first thing you should know about sequence so what do you mean by sequence so first you have to understand the term sequence here so if you know the sequence then we can solve the problem easily okay what is sequence so sequence sequence refers sequence refers to refers to a set of a set of numbers a set of numbers which is arranged which is arranged which is arranged in a progressive manner remember this in a in a progressive in a progressive manner in a progressive manner under under a definite Defi defined under a defined rule such as such as uh, we call it such a set okay such a set is also called is also called progression so you have to remember that so when we call progression it should be a sequence of a set of numbers arranged in a progressive manner so that means it should go on increasing like one two three four five six or two four six eight or three six nine twelve or you can say five ten fifteen twenty twenty five so that is under a specified rule so there is a defined rule so according to that it should go on in a progressive that is increasing in that manner it has to go okay so then we call it as a progression okay so here the number the numbers in sequence in sequence are known as terms so numbers which are in sequence is called as terms of sequence each number is a terms of sequence terms of sequence so i think it is better to write an example over here so that you will also get a clarity two four six eight ten so this is a sequence because it is in a progressive manner okay so that is called sequence and denoted and denoted by the denoted by the letter T letter T denoted by the letter T the sequence may be the sequence may be may be finite finite or infinite that means you can count or you may not count okay so both we can consider finite and infinite so finite sequence will have finite sequence will have will have definite number of terms definite number of terms definite number of terms for example you can say here um, definite number of terms means one uh, then we have a two then we have a three so on ten so definite number of uh, 
terms is 10. So we know that in uh, infinite we don't we don't get that okay. Uh, so that also I will write and explain so that you will also get to know uh, infinite sequence will have will have infinite numbers infinite numbers of terms number of terms okay so that is for example you can take 1 2 3 and n so there is no any definite term see here it is a finite we know that it is going to end at 10 here we don't know so that is going to be nth term so because it is a uh, you know we don't know the term infinite sequence is infinite so now write series so what exactly series means see when terms of sequence are connected when terms of sequence sequence are connected are connected are connected by positive it might it might be positive that is plus or it might be negative negative min means in minus figures signs we get series we get series it might be sequence are connected by positive or negative it, it has to be connected then we call it as a series okay uh, so we can say um, in other words in other words series uh, we call it as series refers to refers to you know continuation of numbers uh, sum of sum of sum of the terms sum of the terms that constitute that constitute a sequence constitute a sequence okay so here you have to understand example uh, for this we can give it as an example like 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 1 see uh, these are sequence which have uh, connectivity okay so next uh, let us understand types types of progressions types of progressions so what are all the types of progressions we have okay so there are two important types of progression so number one is arithmetic mean arithmetic mean and number two is geometric mean geometric progression geometric progression arithmetic progression it is not mean progression arithmetic progression and geometric progression okay so these are the major types so which we use in progression so when a series is increases or decreases while a constant number is it is known as arithmetic progression so that is known as arithmetic progression try to understand uh, it is better i'll give it uh, with an example so that you will also have a clarity okay so let us write it when a sequence when a sequence is increases increases or or decreases decreases while while a constant while a constant number number it is known as it is known as arithmetic progression ap in short form so while solving we call it as a ap only uh, so you can keep it as example you know constant number how it works 
so that is 2 4 6 8 and 10 as I have given example so on or you can take example 15 13 11 9 7 so on so here it is increasing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It is decreasing 15, 13, 11, 2, 11, 9, 7. Common difference is 2. So that is increase or decrease while a constant number it is. So here 2, 2, 2 increasing. Here 2, 2 numbers are minus. So that is decreasing. Okay. So here uh, for solving the problem you should know that the first term, the first term of an AP, an arithmetic progression is denoted, is always denoted by A. The first term is always denoted by small letter A. Okay, so that you should remember because the entire problem are going to depend on this. And the common difference, the common difference in the problem, common difference is denoted is denoted by small letter d remember so the common difference is denoted by d okay so here we are going to understand the uh, expressions uh, we use okay uh, the general uh, expressions expressions of an arithmetic progression is a a plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, so on. Okay, this is going to be our general expression we use. Okay, so in the above expression, what we can do is, um, see, I'll show you in the above expressions, if we wanted to write anything, so that is T1 equals A, A equals A plus 1 minus 1 into D. Okay, so if you take two, T2 equals A plus D, that is equals A plus 2 minus 1 into D, 2 minus 1 into D. If you take T3, that is A plus 2D equals a plus 3 minus 1 into d okay so similarly similarly we use the formula for solving the problem that is tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the uh, the uh, basic formula which we are going to use while solving the problem okay so this is the explanation so since you got the exposure to the explanation let us solve few basic problems so that you know you will also get an idea so how to solve the problem so problem number one okay so we are starting with the problem number one so problem number one says find find tenth term tenth term of five comma seven comma nine Okay, so 10th term we have to find and 5 comma 7 comma 9. So that is the question they have asked. So here you have to know that the first number is always considered as A. The first term is always considered as A. So which is the first term? 5. So write down. So since it is the first problem, I am telling you. Given A equals 5. Okay, so then d equals that is common difference so 5 5 minus 7 is 2 7 minus uh, 9 is 2 so that is 2 so what we can do is 7 minus 5 that is equals 2 or 9 minus 7 that is equals 2 so that also you can mention that is equals 2 so common difference is 2 in all the section so d equals 2 so n n is 10 n is 10 so we have to find t n t 10 we have to find t 10 okay so now let us find the solution for this just i have given this as a uh, you know uh, explanation part so that you will get to know this so now let us solve the solution for this so what is the formula i have written t n equals a plus n minus 1 into d right so t n equals a plus n minus 1 
into D. So which uh, one you have to find? So Tn equals A is 5 plus N is 10 minus 1 into D is 2. Okay. So now take T10 equals. So 5 plus 10 minus 1 is a 9 into 2. So T10 equals 9 to the 18. So that is 5 plus 18. So T10 equals 23. So this is the answer for this particular problem. Understood? Easy, right? So this is a very easiest one. So you need not to scratch your head. So let us go for the second problem. So we'll finish few problems in this. Okay. So problem number two I'm going with. That is find the 15th term. Find the 15th term of 50, 47, 44, so on. So this is the question. So here you know, right, what are all he has given? So given A equals first series is 50. Okay, then D equals 50, 40, 50 minus 47, 50 minus 47, or you take 47 minus 44, 47 minus 44. So common difference is 3. D equals 3. Okay, so that is minus 3 here. So then n equals 15. So we have to find 15th term. So t15 equals question mark. So this we have to identify. As we have done in the first problem, the same way you have to do. So let us uh, take the formula tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d. So that is t15 equals a value is 50 plus n is 15 minus 1 into d that is minus 3 okay so now let us move further 315 equals 50 plus 15 minus 1 14 14 into minus 3 okay so now t15 equals 50 plus so 14 minus 3 is i use the calculator don't get confusion so whenever required so use the calculator but take the correct answer so 14 into minus 3 14 into minus 3 that comes to minus 42 right minus 42 14 into minus 3 is minus 42 so 14 3 is a minus 42 okay so this becomes minus 42 so t15 equals 50 minus 42 is 8 so t15 is 8 so this is the answer for the second problem so let us move to the next one so that is third problem i'm going to solve so the third problem is find find 18th term 18th term of an arithmetic progression ap so minus 15 minus 11 minus 7 minus 3 so this is the problem so you know right so let us go like this a equals minus 15 correct so then d equals what is the d value minus 15 minus uh, 11 so if you so 15 minus 11 so that is plus 4 plus 4 correct so then we got the d value as well so then what else n so we know n equals 18 because he said n 18th term so n equals 18 so we have to find t 18 is question mark okay so this is the uh, working note which you need to always keep it ready so now write down the formula t n equals a plus n minus 1 into d so t 18 equals a value is minus 15 plus n is 18 minus 1 into d is plus 4 so i am taking that 4 so t 18 equals minus 15 plus 17 into 4 so t 18 equals 17 fours are minus 15 plus 17 fours are so how much you will get 17 into 4 
so you are going to get 68 so that is 68 okay so now t18 equals 68 minus 15 if you do 68 minus 15 so you will get 53 so t18 is 53 understood yes so further moving to the next one fourth problem so problem number four find the term of find the term of one and half one by two three then four and half then six so on so on okay so here a equals one and a half one and a half okay so d equals common differences again that is also one and a half right so six minus three divided by two so that is also one and a half common difference so one point one and a half okay so n equals we know that is uh, which term we are supposed to uh, find 10th term find the 10th term so n equals 10 we know so we have to find tn equals question mark so we have to find tn that is sorry t10 equals question mark okay so here few places we have to work out uh, so that is on simplification because we cannot write one and a half so d can be converted into how and a can be converted into what see 3 by 2 so that is uh, 1 1 and a half can be shown it as a 3 divided by 2 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 only 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 only correct yes or no yes right so here the difference is also uh, 3 divided by 2 only we will write in the form of 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is nothing but 1.5 that is 1 and a half okay so now let us find the solution to this so with the formula that is tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so that is t10 equals a is how much 3 divided by 2 plus n is 10 minus 1 and d value is 3 divided by 2 so now t10 equals 3 by 2 plus 9 into 3 by 2 okay into 3 by 2 so now you have to simplify further so that how you are going to simplify t10 equals 3 by 2 plus 9 3 is a 27 divided by 2 okay so in the next stage since denominators are same so that becomes t10 equals 3 plus 27 divided by 2 so therefore t10 equals 30 divided by 2 so that is t10 equals 15 t10 is equal to 15 understood see very simple one so but just you need to work a little more okay so if you practice this lesson is very very easy but you have to practice continuously okay so let us go to the next problem problem number five okay the fourth term the fourth term of an ap of an ap is 11 11 and 15th term is 44 44 find the common difference find the common difference and the first term and the first term also find also find 26th term so this is bit uh, advanced question i thought of you know doing it later but anyways we'll do it so what all he has given so t4 he has given that is term 4 that is equals how much he said 11 t4 equals 11 he has given 
then t15 is he also given that is 44 so i am taking 44 so a is not given and d is also not given and t26 also he had asked us to find out so with this given information now we have to find the solution for all these questions okay so let us uh, solve uh, it it has a bit equation kind of thing so which you have to work a little okay so here we know that you write down like this we know that i'll cross it as a quarter here so which have done so we know that tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d correct so here he has given t4 equals 11 so then t4 equals a plus 4 minus 1 into d so that is if you replace it the 11th value so here 11 equals a plus 3d that is 4 minus 1 3d so consider this as a equation 1 okay so the same you do it for second equation tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so that is t15 i am doing 215 t15 equals a plus 15 minus 1 into d so that is t15 equals t15 equals a plus a plus 14 d this is we'll call, call it as a equation 2 okay so now we got equation 1 and equation 2 so let us subtract by subtracting by subtracting equation equation 1 by equation 2 equation by 1 and 2 we get we get that is 44 equals a plus a plus 14 d a plus 14 d the same way 11 equals a plus 3 d a plus 3 d okay so now subtract this so when you subtract 44 minus 11 33 equals yeah yeah get cancels okay so the left out is 14 plus 3 so but we have to subtract so 14 minus 3 is how much 11 d so answer is 11 d so therefore d equals 33 divided by 11 so d equals 3 so d value is 3 so now let us consider equation 1 consider equation equation 1 ok so that is 11 equals a plus 3d that is 11 equals a plus 3 into 3 so that is d value d value is 3 so 3 into 3 so 11 equals 11 equals so therefore a equals i'm sorry a equals 11 minus 11 minus 3 3 is a 9 so a i have carried forward so this 11 come this side so 11 minus 3 3 is a 9 so therefore a equals 2 so we got a value now 2 so now we have to identify t26 right t26 equals tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so for this application if we do that so we know a is 2 so t26 we have to identify plus n also we know that so that is 26 minus 1 d value 3 we know okay so now do it 2 plus 26 minus 125 into 3 so that is 2 plus 25 3 is a 75 so that becomes t26 equals 25 75 plus 2 77 so this is how we have to find the answer okay so this is the fifth problem which we did okay so let us 
learn few more basic problems so that you will get a concrete basics so that you know you will also able to solve uh, many problems okay see uh, take down next the uh, sixth problem we are doing it is find the 17th term of series of series 3 6 9 so on 3 6 9 so on so simply apply the formula here now tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so you need not to write all the time given and all so we know uh, that is we have to find the 17th term so t17 equals a value is first one 3 plus n value is 17 minus 1 d value is common difference is 3 that is 6 minus 3 is 3 9 minus 6 is also 3 so like this put 317 equals 3 plus 16 into 3 so 16 3 is i use the calculator 16 into 3 so how much you will get 48 correct so 48 so that is t17 equals 3 plus 48 so now do this 3 plus 48 is 51 so t17 equals 51 t17 equals 51 is the answer so we are done with this so i believe you could able to catch so next i'm going with seventh problem so seventh problem will solve so that says find the 25th term 25th term of series 2 4 6 so on so solution you know right tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d see this is a common problems so we know 225 25th term t25 equals a is 2 plus n is 25 minus 1 d is 2 4 minus 2 is 2 6 minus 4 is 2 so 2 common difference so now t25 equals 2 plus 24 into 2 so that becomes t25 equals 2 plus 48 24 2 is a 48 so t25 equals 50 2 plus 48 is 50 so this is the answer for this okay are you able to understand yes no yes right so we'll move further to the next problem few more uh, so that you know you get uh, you will also have clarity so basics problem so problem number eight we are going find the term of series so find the term of series 3 7 11 so on so i'm not writing any a b and all because it is already eighth problem need not to write tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d you should know so what is the term we are doing find the find the 21st term sorry i forgot that to write 21st term so we know 21st a plus 21 minus 1 into d so t21 equals a is 3 3 plus 21 minus 1 common difference is 4 common difference is 4 right so 4 so now do it t21 equals 3 plus 20 into 4 so 24 is 80 so t21 equals 3 plus 80 so t21 equals 83 is the answer okay so next we'll move further right so we'll move now next problem number is nine you have to practice otherwise you don't understand okay ninth problem 14th term of series of series is four comma 9 comma 11 so it is 14 
15 comma 19 so we have to find the term so find t n equals a plus n minus 1 into d so t 14 equals 4 into 14 minus 1 into common difference 4 my 9 minus 4 is 5 14 minus 9 is 5 19 minus 14 is 5 so common difference is 5 so t 14 equals 4 into 13 minus 5 uh, sorry into 5 so now t 14 equals 4 plus 13 5 is how much 65 so 65 so t 14 equals 69 is the answer Sorry, see here I have made a small mistake. Have you people noticed? So D is minus 5. It is minus 5 because 4 minus 5 it is in reverse order. So I have to take it as a minus 5. Okay. So then your answer will be how much? This is all same. 4 plus minus 65. Okay, so it is 69, it is going to be 69 is the answer, okay. So next is 12th term, um, problem number 10, problem number 10, 12th term of series 9, 4, minus 1, minus 6, so on. So same let us implement tn equals a plus n minus 1 into t. So now 12th term we know t12 equals a is a 9 plus n is 12 minus 1. Common difference is again minus 5. So t12 equals 9 plus 11 minus 5. 11 into minus 5. So t12 equals 9 plus 11 into 5 that is 55 55 okay so 55 plus 9 this is minus 55 plus 9 so it should be t12 equals 55 minus 9 is 46 correct minus 46 is the answer for this so then uh, I think I have done the mistake here so it should be minus 61 is the answer minus 61 because minus is there okay so minus 65 it is plus 4 it is 61 then it is correct now okay see these are all these small small things we should keep it in our mind while solving the problem otherwise we might have to face a problem while solving it okay so few more uh, problems then we will uh, wind up the session so 10th one is done so let us move to the 11th one find the 16th term of series minus 4 minus 7 minus 10 so on so the formula is 3n equals a plus n minus 1 into d so that is t16 equals a is minus 4 plus n is 16 minus 1 and the d is uh, minus uh, that is 3 minus 3 minus 3 because it is going reverse order so it is minus 3 7 minus 4 is 3 10 minus 7 is 3 so but minus 3 so t16 equals so minus 4 plus 6 that is 15 into minus 3 so t16 equals minus 4 plus 15 minus 3 is a 45 that is minus 45 see here minus into minus plus so that becomes plus so that is t16 equals minus into minus plus so that is minus 49 minus 49 is the answer okay clear i think the clarity so next moving further 12th problem 12th problem that is find the 
30th turn find the 30th turn of the series of the series 2x comma 7x comma 12x so on okay so we know that tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so t30 equals a is 2x plus n is 30 minus 1 and d is 5 d is 5 5x Okay, so t30 equals 2x plus that is 29 into 5x. So now do that 29 into 5x. So you will get 140. 140. So, T30 equals 2X plus 145X. So, T30 equals 147X. 147X. Okay. So, next further. Problem number 13. Problem number 13. That is, find the 30th term of 0 0.6 0 0.61 so on so on ok so tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so t30 equals a is 0 0.6 plus n is 30 minus 1 and d is 0 0.1 0 0.01 okay so then t30 equals 0 0.6 plus 29 into 0 0.01 so that becomes t30 equals 0 0.6 plus 29 into 0 0.01 so that is how much you will get 0 0.25 you are going to get 0 0.25 plus 0 0.6 0 0.25 plus 0.6 plus 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.89 0.6 0 0.89 t30 equals 0 0.89 so once you confirm with your calculator since my calculator is not working properly over here so change the calculator in the next session so next is uh, problem number 14 find the 15 the term of series 5 by 6 then 1 so on see this is going to be a bit complicated if you but if you try to understand it is going to work n minus 1 into t so here a you know so a is how much 5 by 6 but a d we have to find so to find the d 1 minus 5 divided by 6 so your answer is 1 by 6 okay so 6 uh, in in 6 out of 6 5 gone so left out is 1 by 6 that's all so that is how 1 minus 5 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 we get okay remember 6 denominator out of 6 how much gone 5 so left out is 1 1 by 6 okay so now let us simplify this so t15 equals a is how much 5 divided by 6 plus 15 minus 1 
into d d is 1 divided by 6 so 2 t 15 equals 5 by 6 plus 14 into 1 by 6 so use the calculator 14 into 1 by 6 so that becomes like this t 15 equals 5 divided by 6 plus 14 divided by 6 14 ones are 14 divided by 6 okay so now add these two 5 plus 14 is 19 so 19 divided by 6 so t 15 equals 19 divided by 6 see these are all bit variety full problems so that uh, whenever what kind of terms comes then how you are supposed to handle so that's all so it is not too much complicated also let us solve two more problems and we will stop here uh, so 15th problem I am solving now that is find the find the 12th term 12th term of the series of the series minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 so on minus 6 so on so we have to find the answer so you know right formula tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so t12 equals a is first series that is minus 2 plus n is 12 minus 1 n is this 12 minus 1 and the d is common difference is minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 so that is minus 2 is difference so t12 equals minus 2 plus 11 into minus 2 so that becomes t12 equals minus 2 plus 22 that is minus 22 right so minus 22 so minus into minus plus so that is t12 equals minus 24 so this is the answer for this problem okay so next 16th problem i'm going with that is which term of an ap of an ap arithmetic progression 5 13 21 so on and 181 he has given last term so now which term of an ap is 5 13 21 and 181 so here he has given uh, most of the answer so we have to find the exact value okay so that is he has given tn value okay so he has given tn so that is last term so tn he has given 181 tn equals 181 and a is given the a is 5 and common difference is also given that is 5 minus 13 so how much you will get 5 minus 13 8 13 minus 21 is 8 so common difference is 8 so he has given in uh, this much of information so with this given information so we have to find the answer that is he has not given n so here we are finding what n so in this problem he has not given n so by applying the same formula we have to find the answer for this okay so let us go that is tn equals a plus n minus 1 into d so tn he has given that is 181 equals a is 5 plus n we don't know n minus 1 and d value is given 8 okay so in the next stage what we are going to do 181 equals 5 plus 8 n's are 8 n 8 n minus 8 8 ones are 8 okay so that is equals 181 equals 5 plus Five plus eight n minus eight correct so 181 equals now uh, this uh, eight whatever we had so if you shift other way around now from here to here so this will become plus and this becomes minus so eight minus five is minus three minus three plus eight n plus eight n see 8 minus 5 is minus 3 plus 8 n this 8 n remains same okay so then now 181 plus 3 equals 8 n so this 3 i have just shifted to lhs so out of the square so equal so, so now 181 minus became plus and this become 8 n okay so now 181 plus 3 is 184 equals 8 n so therefore n equals 184 divided by 8 
so therefore n equals divide it 184 divided by 8 184 divided by 8 so that comes to 23 so n equals 23 so what I insist is you solve this problems like two times at least in rough book then copy it to your notes because uh, practice is required to solve this kind of problem okay so we'll stop here we'll continue in the next session till then take care see you soon bye bye stay safe stay home bye